Matthew here, bathtubrenew.com. Porcelain surgeon, on site, do I have a good one for you guys. Check this one out. We got a fiberglass one piece, beautiful, looking very nice with wrong holes. Okay, so we got a hole here we gotta fill. We got this here we gotta repair. And we go down here and we got this broken here we're gonna fix so what's the plan we're gonna put some backer in here we're probably gonna fill this up with a uh, fiberglass short strand this guy is gonna get ground out a little bit fiberglass short strand ground out a little bit fiberglass short strand yeah all right we're fixing it Some people ask me, what did I do to the back of it? Okay, so you know those little mesh steel repair kits that you get for the auto body, at the auto body store? It's gonna stick you on one side. I put it on there and I'm gonna, I taped it. So once this dries, I'm gonna peel this tape off and then all you see is this little, this little mesh thing there that's being held in by the fiberglass over here. Okay, this is what I use for doing patches like this, right here. It's a square patch like this, okay? It's basically six by six. And it's made out of this and it's sticky on one side. If you look at this, it's got like, uh, it's a peel and stick, right? But it doesn't stick very good on fiberglass, but good enough. But then I put a little bit of masking tape around it and then I peel off the masking tape after my first coat. And then I put two more coats on top on the back and we'll see what the back looks like, okay? See, it's all, I, I had a hard time getting in there with this, but um, the owner doesn't care about this, but I do this to reinforce this patch. Now, this is all dry back here, and this is just as strong as this. So this will never, ever pop, it'll never crack, and it makes it super, super easy to do stuff like this. So here we are in the front, and we're putting the first coat of red on. So this, this took three coats. And now, what, the way I like to do my body work is I like to put enough just to fill the hole. Then my second coat, I put enough just to fill that hole. And then it's basically completely flat. And then I do one more skim coat of the green. And it's very minimal sanding. I don't like putting it on thick and then, you know, sanding a bunch off and stuff. You know, it takes a little bit more time in mixing, but it's way less sanding. And it's a lot more cleaner. You don't have Bondo dust piled up everywhere. It makes it a lot faster in the end. We're gonna put two more coats of the lacquer glaze. Okay, so we're getting ready right here. We got it all taped up, and now we're gonna do our spot blend. First, I'm gonna wipe all my bonding agent on the edges. Then I'm gonna do all my flip tape. If you don't know what flip tape is, it's kind of like this, where the tape flip backwards so that you can get a nice blend edge on it. And on something like this, I'm gonna do a zone blending technique. So I'm not gonna try to keep it as small as possible. I'm gonna you know, blend it out like this, blend it out a little bit more because it's, you know, the color, it's hard to match and stuff like that. So you get as close as you can and then you blend it out because the customer is going to look right here. They're not going to go and start looking over here and try to see if there's a little bit of a color difference on the top surface of this. Even if they did, they wouldn't be able to tell because of all the angles and how it reflects and, you know, so you use all the angles to your advantage. So I'm going to do a zone blend on this one use all the angles that I can. All right, we'll be putting primer on over the spots. See all our flip tape, how we flipped it? All back taped it, that's called flip tape. Flip it back. When I do my blender edge, you can't even see it. That's it, she's brand new, all brand new. Can't even tell. We're out of here, we're heading to the next one. She's brand new, bye.